Hello everyone, my name is Mehdi Golzadeh. I'm a PhD student at the Software Engineering Lab at the University of Mons in Belgium, under supervision of Professor Tom Mens and Dr. Alexandre Decan. In this work, I had the chance to collaborate with Dr. Eleni Constantino from the Eindhoven University of Technology. Here I'm going to present the result of our paper entitled Identifying Bot Activity in GitHub Pull Request and Issue Comments in the third international workshop on bots in software engineering. In our previous work about identifying bots in GitHub accounts, while analyzing accounts to create a ground truth dataset, we noticed that some accounts have a mixed behavior of human accounts and bot accounts. With further inspection, we figured out that some developers use automated tools to carry out some of their repetitive tasks with their own account. We called such accounts as mixed accounts. Since the approach we followed in our previous work was based on similarity of comments and comment patterns and was not able to identify such accounts, we excluded these accounts from our ground truth dataset. Mixed accounts are getting more and more prevalent by the increasing number of automated tools and apps for social coding platforms. The motivation of this work is that we need a model with a finer granularity to identify which activity is done by a human and which one is done by a bot. To create a model to classify bots and humans based on the content of their message, we need a dataset of humans and bots comments. To conduct this study, we used the ground truth dataset of our previous study, which is recently published in the Journal of Software and Systems. We picked 9,641 bot comments from the ground truth dataset of our JSS paper and randomly selected the equal size of human comments to form an appropriate and balanced ground truth dataset for this study. Given that we want to classify comments based on their content, we have to process natural language text. Therefore, first we need to convert the content of comments to an appropriate representation for classification algorithms. There are a number of methods to do this pre-processing task, such as bag of words, tfidf, word to wig, and BERT. We tested all these pre-processing techniques and their variants, and we achieved the highest accuracy with a combination of bag of words and tfidf. We split this dataset into a training and a test set. Approximately half of all comments was used as a validation set in a grid search cross-validation process to determine the best input parameters, the best classifier, and to train the selected model. The test set was used to evaluate the performance of the selected model on the new and unseen data. While creating the training and test sets, we ensured that comments belonging to the same account were not spread in both sets. We followed a standard grid search cross validation process to do both hyperparameter tuning and selecting the best classifier. For the classification task, we used four different classifiers support vector machine, multinomial naive base, random forest, k nearest neighbors, and 0R classifier as a baseline to compare the models. This table shows the result of the training phase. In terms of overall performance, naive base and SVM appear to be the most promising classifiers. The SVM, random forest, and k nearest neighbors classifiers have high recall for human comments, but a rather low recall for bot comments. It's clear that all models outperform the 0R baseline classifier. 
In this table, we observe the result of the evaluation of the final selected model on the test set containing 4852 human comments and 4850 bot comments. The results show that around 90% of bot comments and 86% of human comments are classified correctly. The higher recall of bot comments and the higher precision of human comments indicate that the model performed better in detecting bot comments. One of the positive points of this model is that the model also provides the probabilities associated with predictions. A probability close to 1 indicates that there is a high level of confidence in classifying the comment as bot comment. Conversely, a probability close to 0 indicates high confidence in classifying the comment as a human comment. A probability close to 0.5 indicates low confidence in the prediction. We observe that most comments have an associated probability close to 0 for human comments and close to 1 for bot comments, indicating high confidence in the prediction. Why this model is better? In our previous work, we claim that an account is a bot or a human, and we know that in some cases, especially in mixed accounts, we are wrong. Also, the fact that we have mixed accounts is something interesting to analyze individual comments instead of set of comments. The new model not only works on individual comments, but also is able to predict accounts with a confidence level. We tested this model to predict the type of accounts in the ground truth dataset of our previous paper based on some metrics like sum of the probabilities of comments, mean of the probabilities of comments, and we achieved an accuracy comparable to the previous results. The new model provides the associated confidence for each prediction, in addition to the prediction itself. It makes it possible to make sure about the correctness of the prediction by ignoring predictions with low confidence. This can be helpful to stay on the safe side and have a strong and correct predictions. We also tested this model on a small dataset provided by a research group from the Eindhoven University of Technology who are currently investigating mixed accounts. Our model was able to correctly classify about 80% of the cases. To sum up, we had problem with identifying mixed accounts. So we decided to have a more fine-grained model and predict the type of comments instead of accounts. We created a dataset of human comments and bot comments from the dataset we created in our previous study. We used a combination of bag of words and TFIDF to pre-process comments and feed them to classifier algorithms. We used a standard grid search cross-validation process to do both hyperparameter tuning and selection of the best classifier. We achieved a promising F1 score of 0.88 on the test data. Thanks for your time and consideration and I would be happy to answer any questions.